All right, so today we're doing barbecue, um, or we're doing beef short ribs, right? But we're going to do them in a Korean style. So we're going to marinate them in a Korean um, flavored sauce with a, you know, soy sauce, some ginger, cayenne, some pepper, and we're just going to let them sit overnight. Um, I got Costco beef ribs that you can see right here, right? Um, they're sliced real thin, probably about a half inch, you know, a long ways. They still have some of the bone in the bottom, which is fine. We're just going to eat around it. But we're going to put it in a, in a big bowl, and we're going to mince up the food and the, the sauce, and we're just going to let it sit in there overnight and really get that flavor and that marinade in. And then tomorrow when we're ready to cook, we're just going to throw them on the grill. But um, this, is, this is pretty easy to do. It's really getting all the ingredients that's the tough part. But uh, I'll show you how it's done. All right, so all right. Let's, first thing we got to do is we got to prepare the marinade. So the marinade is going to be all sorts of ingredients, right? So the first thing we're going to do is take a third of a cup, third of a cup. This is for three pounds worth of beef, uh, beef ribs. So adjust accordingly, depending on how much you have. So we're going to do a third of a cup brown sugar, That's pretty good. All right. Then we're going to do a third of a cup of soy sauce. Soy sauce. Now, this particular recipe is gonna be a little bit different because as I got ready to start the video, I realized I didn't have all the exact ingredients. So we're just gonna, we're gonna wing it. But this should be good. All right, pour that in there. Soy sauce. And then we need a third of a cup, and it calls for rice wine, but you can substitute with rice vinegar. To give it that kind of tang. I don't have rice wine. Never had rice wine actually. So all right, that's empty. We need a new one. There we go. All right. Pour that in there. There we go. Alright. We're also going to add. Now it calls for uh, actual like ginger root. I don't have ginger root, so we're going to use ground ginger, and we're just going to eyeball it. This stuff goes a long way, so that's plenty. All right, calls for about a uh, quarter teaspoon of cayenne, so we'll do a little pinch there. This is just normal cayenne pepper. Um, and then it calls for some coarse ground pepper. Pour that in there. Alrighty. Then we need a tablespoon of my favorite, sesame oil. I love sesame oil. There we go. Just a dash more because I love this stuff. Okay, good, good, good. Alrighty. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a whisk and we're going to mix it up. And we're just really trying to dissolve that that brown sugar. All right? Hey, bud. Look, I'm going in the pool. You're going in the pool. All right, have fun. It's a good day for it's hot out. All right. All right, so once we're done with this, we're gonna set this off to the side and we're gonna take uh, our solid um, ingredients and we're gonna put them in a food processor. So, we have our food processor all the way over here, not set up properly for the video. So we're gonna use, um, the recipe calls for uh, some green or red pepper. I don't have that. I have yellow. So that's halfway in between. It calls for an Asian pear. I don't have an Asian pear, so I'm going to use some uh, some cherries that I just cut in half and, and took the pit out. Right? It calls for one medium onion, which I already have sliced up here. Right? And then for a little bit of, a little bit of flair, I'm putting in some green onions. I think that'll be nice. Get that in there, right? 
and then it's gonna call cause for eight cloves of garlic so it's getting kind of stuffed in there so I'm gonna run it and, and kind of reduce it down so that I can put the peppers in All right so we're gonna get that on here Right, put the lid on, and then hit it. There we go. That's puree raying up well. Nice color to it. All right, so we're gonna start working our pepper in. This pepper is actually really big, so, but it's gonna provide a nice flavor. There we go. Oh, a little bit more green onion. Okay, all right, that looks pretty good. Let's hit it. All right, it also calls for, which I just forgot, some sesame seeds. I gotta do a little bit better prep work here. But that's what it is. There we go. Just pour a little bit here, a little bit there. There we go. All right, get that fired up. Okay. That's probably about as good as we're going to get it. You can see it's almost like a mush or a slurry, if you would. So we're going to take that and pour that into our, our liquid that we did earlier. All right. We'll just make sure we get it all. Perfect. Perfect. And as this, and we're doing it overnight. You should do it for at least four hours. I like to do it overnight and really get everything in there good. Really lets the flavor, it lets the flavor soak in. This stuff's so good. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our beef strips and we're just going to put them in. Now we want to make sure they're covered, right? So this is about three pounds worth from Costco. I really like Costco meats, they're pretty pretty good. I mean, tastes good, decent price. I really like how the ribs, they take the back membrane off. That's my favorite, because that's a pain. Hey. You wanna see this? Okay. Now get them in there. You wanna make sure you get them all covered. So at some point we might have to add a little bit of water. Um, that's fine. But we want to make sure they all get a nice coating in this marinade. There we go. All right, so you can see we're going to need to, we're just going to work them around, make sure they all get nice and coated. All right, let it sit in there. Here we go. Split them up. Make sure you get all the surfaces you can. Let's get them all nice and coated. Oh, let's also some over here. Yeah. It smells, I know you can't smell it, but it smells awesome, so. Yep, and we're we'll just keeping going. There we go. You know, work it around, make sure you got, ooh, onion's starting to kick. Hey, there it is. Ooh. Um, make sure you get all the surfaces, right? I would love to be able to have them all flat, but that's just not gonna happen. Um, yeah, just make sure you get them all covered. Flip them around a bunch of times. Let it work down into the center. There we go. Whew. All right. Okay. So, now you got that going there. Let me rinse my hands. Wash them. 
And we're just going to put that in the fridge. I'm going to cover it with some saran wrap. And we're just going to put it in the fridge and let it sit overnight and let it marinate. Um, if you're feeling a little squirrely, you can go in there and mix it around a little more. You want to smell it? I can smell it from here. It smells good, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be good. Ooh, baby. All right, so let's get some saran wrap. I am 100% uh, not prepared. And here we are. So. And we're just going to cover it. Good. I'll do one more on the other side. Now that's the hardest part of this entire meal. That's it. So once you're done, right, you let it marinate overnight or however long, at least four hours, and then we're gonna throw it on the grill. It's like a minute and a half each side. That's it, per strip. It's done. It's quick, and they're absolutely outstanding. All right, so we're gonna let that go. Okay. All right. So, we're getting ready to cook these Korean style ribs, uh, the beef ribs. We got the we got the Weber going, right? I'm gonna pull this off. I'm put on a little bit of mesquite wood chips just to get a little bit of smoke flavor. Not a lot, mesquite's very strong. I just want a little bit. So maybe we, maybe about that. Not much, All right? Just put it right on the charcoal. Back on there. Hip. Hip. All right. And we got here's our ribs here. They've been marinating for over 24 hours, so I'm just gonna pick a strip. Come on in here. Right. Just gonna lay them on there as flat as you can. They're gonna be a little bit curled up because the way they were sitting. So we're just gonna spread it around, fit as many as we can on here. All right. We'll probably make one or two batches. You can see the mesquite smoke's going good. It smells nice. There we go. Get them on there. Now, because these are so thin, right, we don't need to put them on there very long. So, the normal, the recipe or my experience calls about a minute and a half each one. And then we're gonna flip it. So, let's get it on there. Put it on, and then we're gonna give it a minute and a half, and then we're gonna do and not do this part. Come on now. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna flip them here. All right, get it on the other side. Probably needs a little longer. This is not as hot as I was thought it was, but that's alright. We're just going to flip it. Get it going. Get it going nice. Yeah. We're going to need a little longer. Okay. So, we're just going to flip it. And I'll show you where exactly where we want it. Like this one. See, this one's a little better. That's right over the heat there. So, we're just going to give them a little longer. Let that go. Part of, part of grilling with charcoal is not entirely sure. It has a lot of heat zones, right? So, some stuff's gonna go quick, some stuff's gonna go a little longer, but we'll put that on, we'll watch it till it gets a little warmer, and we'll make it flip one more time. But, we'll figure it out good. All right, so, I opened it up. I opened up the uh, vents in the bottom. You can see, it's starting to cook a little better now, which makes a lot more sense. All right, so I'm gonna take the ones here. Boom, see, that's what we're looking for. Starting to get that some of that the browning on it. There we go. So I'm gonna put the ones that are on the edges a little closer to the middle. Pull the middle ones out a little bit. Right? Yeah, look at that. Look at that guy. There we go. Much better. I'm gonna pull you over here. I'll slap you on there. Get this guy. Alright, we're gonna let these guys go for a little bit. There we go. Much better. So these are thin, right? So you gotta watch them. You don't want them to burn. So they're gonna cook quick, especially when you uh, finally open up the, uh, the vent underneath. So we'll give it another two, three minutes and take a look. Mm -hmm. Timer going, okay, here we go. All right, so 
in a bit. So we're gonna pull this guy off. Right? This is what you're looking for over here. Right, you can see it's charred a bit, still got some juiciness. I'm just gonna pull off a piece. We'll try it. Look at that, it's falling apart. Good stuff. Alright, let's give it a try. real charred you don't want it real dark right you want you want it so there's still a little bit of like moisture to it this and that so we're gonna pull these and we'll put on the next batch but that's how you do it uh, you know it's Korean style because of the marinade um, but they're beef short they're beef they're not short ribs they're just beef ribs sliced really thin but you marinate them boom that's how you do it all right enjoy